Okay. Arc 3 test point. Starting with maneuvering thrusters. Hands by my sides. Palms back. <laughs> good. Feels good. All right. Time to open her up. Opening targeting suite. Repulsors ready. Hands up. Palms forward. Bullseye. Problem, Tony. Pepper, I have a lot of problems. I'm serious. You and this armor. Do I need to stage an intervention? Only if I start wearing it to bed. Where are you anyway? Look out the window. Oh, hi, handsome. Looks like you made some upgrades. Two more targets left. One more. That's how it's done. What's next? Time trial. Mind if I watch? Oh, you know I work better with an audience. Let's start with boost. <laughs> that was wow. I think if I swap the DC motor for a solar power converter and apply quarter inch magnetic articulation seals to the boot thrusters, it can reduce my drag coefficient by 10, maybe 10.5%. Oh. Okay. Should I be writing this down? No need. I've got a mind like a steel trap. Oh, yeah? When's my birthday? Uh, sorry, Pepper. You're cutting out. Sounds like you need to reduce your BS output. No, that one's within the normal range. For me, anyway. Warm up the jets. I want to punch something. Fist rockets engaged. Time to throw a punch. Knockout! <laughs> Just like Happy Hogan Tommy. Beautiful! Great aim! Time to punch out. Well done, Tony. Did you get what you needed? Or are you going to go again? Maybe later, after I noodle on it some more. Sounds great. Meet me back here when you're ready.
strange. Morning, sir. May I get you something? Friday. You seem Pepper. I believe she's putting out a fire. Did I start it? She's been on the phone with the press all morning. Something about your surprise announcement caused quite a stir. Or don't you watch the news? Tony Stark, no stranger to stunning revelations, shocked the business world today when he named Pepper Potts the new CEO of Stark Industries. During a press conference, Mr. Stark admitted he had not informed Ms. Potts of his decision prior to the announcement. Perhaps you jumped the gun, sir. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. She's gonna thank me. I'm gonna kill you. I'm your assistant, Tony. You need to warn me before you do stuff like this. You're not my assistant. You're the CEO of Stark Industries. Or don't you watch the news? I should... I'm gonna... Pepper, I'm not always right. I mean, I'm usually right, Tony! But here's the thing. I wasn't put on Earth to sit behind a desk. And you weren't put here to handle my unpaid parking tickets. I was gonna ask if there are any more of them. There are glove boxes full of them, that's not the point. The company turned a corner years ago. We're a force for good in this world, and I want you to get that message out there. Don't people always try to shoot the messenger? No. <laughs> Friday, who taught you how to fly? Uh, you did, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not in control right now. Someone has taken us over, remotely. Out there! It's a Stark drone! A combat drone? We don't make combat drones anymore. The drone is encasing itself in some sort of hard light shield. Hello, Stark. Do I know you? I'm just a ghost from your past. Tony, look! Incoming! Time to die. Tony! Tony! Friday, your airline just lost my luggage. Then file a complaint when we land. Override my safety belt. Pepper, I... I know! Just come back in one piece! Getting awfully close. Heads up!
All systems online. Just in time. I got a plane to catch. You cannot run your past, Star. We'll see about that. Pepper, can you hear me? A little windy, but yeah, I hear you. Sir, we have a massive breach in the hull. Old news, Friday. Tell me about something I didn't just jump out of. Scanning. There's an engine fire that needs your attention. <laughs> a secondary explosion on the right engine, sir. Got it. Fire suppression system online. That's one less burning issue to deal with. Good job, sir. So the autopilot is no longer responding, and the jet is projected to crash into a populated area. I'll deal with the autopilot. Pepper? No, stay put. It's too dangerous. Says the guy who jumped out of the plane. Any more from our mystery guest? They're giving us the silent treatment, but their hounds are clawing at the door. Show them in. Bolta! messing with my HUD. They've also locked me out of the jet's diagnostics. I have no read on Miss Potts. Pepper, do you copy? Enemies inbound. Pepper! Pepper, come in! You okay in there? Tony, I have control of the jet. Keep the good news coming. Sir, more hostiles en route. Friday, what did I just say? Pleased to know that. Uh, guys! I can't steer! Sir, the aileron on the left side has been damaged. Is that fixable? I'll have to wing it. Thanks, Friday. Pepper, you think you can land this bird? Only one way to find out! Lowering the landing gear! <laughs> the landing gear doors are malfunctioning! Of course they are. Yours, Pepper. Gear is down. Three green. Well done, both of you. If no one has any further objections, I say we call it down. Your 
all weapons will be the death of you. Sir, I'm detecting a new energy signature. More enemies? Good. Trigger finger's getting itchy. Sidestep their attack, sir. Yeah! I'm sensing our hacker friend has returned. <laughs> Friday? Friday? All systems are down. The big one's back. My controls are locked! Ah! Pepper! It's vanished from radar. I can see that. Get me back online. Systems restored. Tony, nothing's responding here. Sir, I believe the jet is officially a lost cause. Pepper, find an exit. Right. <coughs> the fire from the cabin. <coughs> I'm trapped. <coughs> Miss Potts, there's a panel beneath your feet, a compartment. It leads to the nose landing gear. Meet you under the jet!